Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Austin and if you're new here, I make book related content every week. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a haul. The other day I went to my library's fall book sale that they have every season. And if you saw my library haul video from last year, this is the same library that I went to this year. And these are books that I'm all really excited about. Books that I've had in my cart online for a while that I've almost pulled the trigger on but haven't. So I'm glad I waited and found them at this used book sale because they're all in really great condition and I I went on the very last day so all of the books were only 25 cents and again if you saw my last video it is the exact same setup but luckily they had a lot of new things to pick from things that I hadn't seen last time so without further ado let's jump into the books that I picked up at my local used library book sale so the first book I have to talk to you guys about today is the first book that I found in the first showroom that we were looking in that book is in the land of armadillos by Helen Shankman this is a debut collection of short stories the inside flap says a radiant debut collection of Link's stories set in a German occupied town in Poland where myth and folklore meet the real life monsters of the Nazi invasion and all of these stories I believe are set in 1942 so right in the middle of the war and I've heard really good things about this one this book is in great condition it's a nice hardback so I'm really excited to add this to my collection and hopefully get around to it soon the next book that I have to talk to you guys about today is a book by author Ruth Ozeki if you're unfamiliar with her work she wrote a tale for the time being which was really popular a couple of years ago and I'm really excited to get into that one at some point but I saw this book I think this is her debut and I had to pick it up because I've heard such glowing things about her as an author I really wanted another book from her in my collection this is Ruth Ozeki's debut novel a year of me and I don't really know much about this. Now that I have this one, I think I'm going to read this first since this was her debut and kind of read her work chronologically. It says, When documentarian Jane... When documentarian Jane Tagagi Little finally lands a job producing My American Wife, a Japanese television show sponsored by an American meat exporting business... She discovers some unsavory truths about love, fertility, and a hormone called DES. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, Akiko Uno, a beleaguered... Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, Akiko Uno, a beleaguered Japanese housewife, struggles to escape from her child-craving husband. When Jane's and Akiko's lives intersect, the deepest concerns of our time are illuminated. So I'm really excited about this one. I think that it's going to be great and I'm really glad to add this one to my collection. Next I have another novel that I was really excited to find because I love this author and I actually got the chance to listen to him talk at the 2018 AWP conference in Tampa, Florida last year. And this book is Lincoln in the Bardo by author George Saunders. He is a very popular short story author and this is his debut novel. This is a novel that focuses on Abe Lincoln's son after he's passed away. From what I can tell this is kind of like a historical fiction slash supernatural book. And it takes place after he's passed away and he is in the graveyard talking to all of the ghosts. It is on the Scribd app so I almost listened to it on audiobook. But this one has kind of a funky layout in some point. When some of the speakers are speaking, it just looks like this. Um, and so I just thought it'd be easier to have the actual book to sit down and read this. And when I saw this for 25 cents, I obviously had to pick it up. Uh, one of my favorite short stories is actually by George Saunders. It is called Sea Oak. You can find it online if you're interested. Yeah, I'm excited to have this one and to hopefully read it soon. The next book that I have to talk to you guys about today that I picked up for 25 cents is going to be Bark Skins. It is a chunk of a novel. This is from the author who wrote Brokeback Mountain, one of my favorite movies, Annie Perlow. I think that's how you say it. Basically, this is a novel that takes place in the 17th century and it follows two young Frenchmen as they become bark skins. Basically just entails cleaning the forest out, cutting down trees, that type of thing. This is kind of a family saga that spans generations. This has really great reviews and again is one that I've almost purchased myself but I haven't because of how big it is and I don't know when I'm gonna actually get around to it. It is one that I've been meaning to pick up so I'm glad that I found it for a quarter. Next three books that I have to talk to you guys about today are nonfiction books and the first one is by Dave Eggers and I think it is pronounced Zaytun. I have to excuse me. This is a non-fictional account that follows a family during the time of Hurricane Katrina and sort of how they deal with that. Back of this one says, 
The true story of one family caught between America's two biggest policy disasters, the war on terror and the response to Hurricane Katrina. I've been meaning to read some Dave Eggers for a while. I picked this one up in hopes that I would enjoy it. As you know, I love nonfiction and especially harrowing accounts like I'm sure this one's going to be. So yeah, I'm glad to have some Dave Eggers in my library now. Next book that I have to talk to you guys about today is by an author that I really admire. She wrote The Liars Club and also the book I'm going to show you today, which is Cherry. This is a non-fictional account of her time as a girl and really it's just a sexual coming of age story. I don't know too, too much about this. Mary Carr having written it was enough to sell me on this. So I'm glad to have this one in addition to The Liars Club to get around to ASAP. And the last book that I have to show to you guys and arguably the book that I'm the most excited to get around to and probably the one I'll read the soonest it is You Don't Have to Say You Love Me by Sherman Alexie. This is a hardcover copy in very good condition that I was so excited to find because I love Sherman Alexie. You've probably heard of Sherman Alexie. He wrote The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. That's a book that I read for one of my young adult literature classes in college and really enjoyed. This is his memoir where he talks about his mom who is pictured here on the cover. Sort of their tough relationship and the both of them trying to deal with her struggles with alcohol. And this was such an exciting find and one that I've really been wanting to pick up so I'm so glad that I found it. And really that's kind of my whole favorite part about going to this used book sale. I often find things that I wanted to purchase out on my own. It's not just going to be library copies or copies of older books. There are a lot of books that have been published within the last five to ten years that are at these book sales that are all in really good condition and are just waiting for someone to find them and to pick them up and from my experience at this particular library they have so much stock and you're bound to find something that you're gonna like and enjoy and if not you literally paid a quarter or a dollar or something like that yeah i encourage you guys to check out your local used bookstores indie bookstores um, libraries library book sales all of those things the funds from these things go to the libraries and bookstores and things like that to keep them open and to keep them running um, for the general public and everyone to enjoy um, so I definitely encourage you to support them. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are interested in any of the books I mentioned here, I will have them linked down below. And let me know if you've read any of these. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.